Hi, I'm Dana. And I'm Hunter. And we're the founders of The Broke Ass Bride. Where we use creativity as currency. To rock badass weddings without, without breaking, breaking the, the bank. bank. Today we're going to talk about how to personalize wedding vows. Writing your own wedding vows is very trendy these days and for good reason. Couples today really want to illustrate what makes them, their love, and their partner so special to the guests that are there at their wedding. And also, writing your own vows can personalize and strengthen the commitment you're making in the moment. A little disclaimer, if you're having a religious ceremony, there may be some rules that apply, so check with your officiant. Before you get started. <laughs> but once you got clearance, you can have so much fun writing your own wedding vows, and there's several different ways that you can approach it. The first way that you can approach it is to keep with the traditional vow structure and cadence and wording, but then add a personal statement to each other that you make at the altar. If you want to get a little more crazy with it but aren't a big speechwriter, maybe taking a traditional vow structure and then adding your own words, making it a little more personal, throwing a few jokes here and there, it's a good way to go. Hunter, I vow to love, honor, and cherish you even when you leave the toilet seat up. <laughs> Dana, I vow to love, honor, and cherish you and so I won't leave the toilet seat up. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you want to get really crazy with it, you can start from scratch. Make all your wedding vows completely personal in your own style. There's a few ways you can do that. One very popular way is the I love you because, because I love you format. Dana, I love you because when I'm hungover, you always make me pancakes in the morning. And because I love you, I'll always make you pancakes when you're hungover. <laughs> Another way to do it is just to go with your heart, reflect on the past of your relationship, think about your first date, how you met, all the weird embarrassing things that have happened, all the funny stories that you have, all the touching moments, and share little bits of that as you think about what you want to set up your future to look like. Just make sure you make promises you can keep. For example, uh, don't say that you're never going to hurt somebody. Good luck with that. But if you hurt them, what will you do to make up for it? And most of all, have fun. Really enjoy the process. Connect with your partner. Hey. Think about <laughs> the future of your marriage and what that really stands for in your minds. And then make sure you practice so that you're not stuttering at the altar. And that can also be a very romantic and fun event. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to do this sort of thing more than once. And there you go. You're all set to write your own vows. Have fun. Be creative. Let it reflect your own personal love. and um, Rock it out. If you guys want to learn more, you can check us out at thebrokeassbride.com. And come back and join us in our next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. For more information, click on the links. And if you have any requests, send them to requests at mahalo.com. Hasta la pasta. <laughs>